We're finding out more this morning about George Floyd's final moments and his deadly encounter with police that set off weeks of protests in Canada and the U.S. The new revelations come from recordings made by police body cameras, and they show Floyd pleaded for his life more than 20 times before he died. Our coverage begins with Steve Niles and more of what those transcripts reveal. Steve. Jennifer, much of what we know about the final moments of George Floyd's life has come from cell phone video shot by bystanders or surveillance video, some of which we are about to show you. But what we're getting from the police body cameras is a better picture of what happened in the moments leading up to officers arriving and in those final moments of George Floyd's life. So what you're seeing right here is the surveillance video, but we can't really hear what is being said. Well, two of the officers who are at the scene, they have body cameras on, so we're getting a transcript from what was said. The phrase, I can't breathe, it was caught on some of that bystander video. It turns out, reading the transcript, George Floyd said it on more than 20 times. Here is one example of what he said. George Floyd was heard to say, you're going to kill me, man. Derek Chauvin, the police officer who has been charged the most severe charges related to George Floyd's death, is quoted as saying, then stop talking, stop yelling. It takes a heck of a lot of oxygen to talk. George Floyd follows up by saying, they'll kill me, they'll kill me. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And that phrase, I can't breathe, uttered by George Floyd during his arrest more than 20 times. Other portions of the transcript show George Floyd begging the officer, Derek Chauvin, to get off of his neck. George Floyd calls out for his mother, long deceased mother. He also cries out for his own children. And the final words George Floyd spoke on this transcript, please, sir, please. Now, as I say, much of what we know from George Floyd's final moments comes from surveillance video like this, but this transcript really shows you how many times George Floyd asked these officers to reflect upon what they were doing, consider his physical well-being, and as we know, those were pleas that ultimately fell on deaf ears. Jennifer? And Steve, these transcripts were made public as part of a legal request from one of the other defending officers to try to have the case against him dismissed. Tell us more about that. Four officers in total have been fired and subsequently charged with offenses related to George Floyd's murder. Derek Chauvin, the one who knelt on his neck, his neck, George Floyd's neck, is facing the most serious charges, but it was Thomas Lane, one of the other four uh, officers charged, whose defense team released this transcript yesterday. Effectively, Thomas Lane says you should dismiss the charges against me because he was unaware Chauvin was committing a crime when restraining Floyd. Chauvin was the senior officer on scene. Thomas Lane had only been on the force for less than a week. Lane's defense team is also saying that it was he was trusting of the superior officer when he asked, should he get off of George Floyd, roll him over, for example? Derek Chauvin said no. So Floyd's team saying that his client was looking out for George Floyd's best interest. One other point to show you that is coming up in his legal argument is that it was Derek Chauvin who was insisted to the rookie officer, Thomas Lane, that George Floyd was fine. So Lane's defense team, they say that this transcript, it exonerates their client. They're asking for the trial, the charges to be dismissed against Thomas Lane. Time will only tell whether or not that's going to happen, but they believe, the defense team believes, that this transcript shows that Derek Chauvin is the one who is ultimately responsible for George Floyd's death. Jennifer? Thanks for this, Steve. You're welcome.